up in South Florida, there's a lot of baseball. I go right next to a Little League baseball park, probably 100 feet away. And uh, I had an older brother who played sports, so during the summertime, all the kids in the neighborhood just meet at the ballpark and play all day, you know? It wasn't like it is now where you had to, you know, you couldn't get on the park unless you had permission or something. No, we just played all day. So, uh, played like that. I got hurt. I hurt my leg when I was eight years old on a uh, slip and slide. I don't remember those deals. Yes, sir. Put the water up and gotcha. <laughs> where I kept hitting in front of them, made a hole in the ground, and there was, a, I guess, a pair of rusty scissors there from when they built the house. And I <clears throat> cut my knee, went to the got went to the hospital, got tetanus shots and everything, and I ran a fever for like three months, and they did a operation found I had a bone disease called osteomyelitis. Oh. Mickey Mantle had that, some other guys have had it. But uh, so then I went I had to go to a Shriners Hospital twice. Once when I was eight I wore a leg brace and went past my foot down here and this foot was built up for four years so I didn't really play any organized sports until I was like fourteen. And uh, wow. but I think when I got a chance to play I put more into it than I probably would have done, you know. And I also yeah. knew I couldn't run as well because I could only bend my knee about hundred degrees, my leg. That uh, if I wanted to play it higher than high school, I needed a pitch. I got drafted by the Dodgers in the first round in uh, 1971, and that's kind of how I got into baseball. You know? Out of high school? Yeah, out of high school. Yeah, I signed a, I signed a four-year scholarship with Florida State, and uh, but I always wanted to play pro ball, and I figured it was. Uh, you know, if I don't make it there in three or four years, I'll just go back to school. I did pretty much the same thing. Yeah. You know, I just took an opportunity. And, and, and the college baseball back then wasn't like it is now. It wasn't yeah. near as deep. You know, there's maybe five really good programs around the country. Florida's probably got five or six good programs now. Yeah. So, you know, it was, it was, it's better now. Yeah. In spring training. Uh, the Dodgers always, I was 18, they always brought up, uh, brought some extra pitchers and catchers when the big club was there for batting practice. And I'd travel with the team and throw batting practice. But I mean, like the... Third or fourth day, Don Sutton was throwing on the sideline. And Don Sutton had won 19 games the year before. He ended up being a Hall of Famer. And uh, but at the time, you know, I, <clears throat> I had a really good arm then when I was young. And uh, he's throwing on the side and asked me, "Is it okay if I stood by the catcher like a hitter?" And I wanted to see his pitches coming in. I'd never seen him pitch, you know. And he's throwing, and he's not throwing very hard. And I'm thinking to myself, man. I'm gonna be in the big leagues in no time. You know, <laughs> I throw harder than this guy. You know, he won 19 games in the big leagues, and then he asked, to, told the catcher he's gonna throw a curveball. And the first curveball he threw, it you could hear it come out of his hand, and kind of a, like that, and the ball went boom straight kissing. down. And I looked at the catcher and said, "I'll never pitch in the big leagues if I can throw stuff <laughs> like this." I went to pitched on Saturday, and Pitt had a bad game. And I didn't get home to real late that night. And we had a day game the next day. And Art Fowler, the pitching coach, came in and said, you're, take, you're, you're the DH today. Go get out of here. You know, I'd already been over in America. I was only in America like two years, but that was the second year. So I hadn't picked up a bat. Well, in spring training, I went four for four against the National League teams when we had to bat, you know. And I, and I always was a good hitter for a pitcher. And uh, Ricky Henderson had a pulled hamstring muscle. And he didn't, he didn't well, he wasn't playing. And Billy was trying to get him to play, shame him into playing. And uh, <laughs> meanwhile, we had Claudel Washington, who was a left-handed <laughs> hitter, and Jose Cruz, who both of them played full-time most of their careers. So between them, they probably had over a thousand hits off left-handers. I mean, you know, they were regular players. And I DH, I, <clears throat> I hit a ground ball and hit a sacrifice fly. Thank goodness they had a soft toss on left-handed guy, you know. And then he took me out of the game. We got the lead. They put in somebody. But it never <laughs> happened again. And I'm the only, <laughs> only pitch that wasn't pitching the game to start the game as a DH. Yeah. I got the lineup card. Uh, Cleet Boyer was our third base coach. And after the game, he gave me the lineup card. I wasn't smart enough to get it signed by everybody. But, you know, <laughs> Billy had his name on it and had the lineup. But uh, but it, that's uh, – I, I, I think some of the things I did hitting were, were better than a lot of things I did pitching for a pitcher, yeah. Nice. You know, I got out of baseball, and I played 19 years. You know, I played in the minor leagues, and I played 15 years in the big leagues. And uh, I really, I had a chance to get back into coaching right when I got out, but I didn't really want to do that. You know, I've been doing it for so long, and you know how it just gets, kind of gives you a drag. And my last year or two yeah. wasn't much fun because I was hurt most of the time anyway. So, you know, I, I, I got in, I played golf. I was always a decent golfer, and the, the celebrity tour just happened to that's Lake, right. Lake Tahoe tournament. You're, and you're, just happened to if fall I'm not in correct, the right you're the time. winningest uh, guy on the celebrity tour. Yeah, and I'd never played any kind of competitive golf before, but uh, 
you know, we started with that one tournament a year for like four years, and all of a sudden yeah. it turned into five, eight, ten, twelve, and yeah, you don't, you've dominated. It, it, yeah, it got to be a good thing for me, you know, and I, everybody got better, and I got better. I hear Bench complaining about you all the time. Well, you know, it's just he complains about a lot of stuff. Yeah, hey, hang with it. But uh, <laughs> started doing a little more, a little few things with baseball. The Dodgers. I've been there spring training three years in a row just uh, for a week or two and I've been in instructional league three years and they've had me go see some of their minor league teams usually they're upper level like double A's where they have most of their pitching prospects so I see them a couple times a year and uh, I enjoyed it I didn't know if I'd like it or not you know but uh, you know the kids are bigger they're stronger I don't know if they know how to play the game as well as we did but they they have more talent you know they're bigger and stronger like all the guys are in all the sports nowadays yeah. but uh, they don't let them pitch. You know, I'm, I'm the proponent that they're bigger, stronger. They should be able to pitch more than we did, but they don't. And I think they could. They just don't let them. Yeah, they're afraid. I think it's the money. You know, the, the money. money. The money is the main uh, thing. Yeah, I know exactly. we've talked about that before. Yeah, we have. We've, 